हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू कोड ग्लांसर सो द टुडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड द टाइटल ऑफ टुडे वीडियो इज लाइक ऑटोमेटिक सीक्वेंस डायग्राम जनरेशन सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ यू कैन इजली जनरेट द सीक्वेंस डायग्राम इफ यू हैव अ वेरी लेंदी कोड एंड यू वॉन्ट टू क्विकली ग्रास्प द flow of your code so that will basically give you lot of uh, confidence and it will save your lot of time so let's start the today's video so first of all for doing this you have to go to your ide so in my case i am using the intellij ide as one of the uh, ide so first of all what you have to do you have to click on intellij ide up here and then go to the preferences so in preferences uh, there is a plugin section here so you, you can find it here and there are two section one is the marketplace another one is the, another one is the installed so marketplace like you can search the plugins name here and here is the how many plugins you have is installed so in my case dart uh, docker flutter lombok these are the some plugins already installed in my system so uh, the plugin which we are look, looking is like sequ sequence diagram so this is the plugin so this is like a mostly downloaded plugin 988.7k people has downloaded and installed so uh, for me it is saying like already installed because i have already installed it so for you you have to uh, click on this uh, install button and then you have to restart so once you click on install it will ask you for the restart so once you restart it it will started giving you the functionality so for me if you see here this is already installed and what it it helps you it is written here like generate the sequence diagram then navigate code by code so all of these feature are provided here okay so i am just canceling this and let's say for the simplicity i have a talent controller which is basically responsible to gen create some talent and get some talent and now i want to understand how this uh, slash talent slash post api is working so for doing that what you have to do you have to just right click here and you will get one option to sequence diagram so once you click on the sequence diagram and boom so you will be able to see the sequence diagram generated for you so here there is a actor actor is nothing but whoever is calling this api and then the flow is start from the talent controller so this is the talent controller all right and talent controller is having the talent service you can see here the talent service is here all right so once you create click on the sequence diagram like tal talent service so here is a talent service so from the talent controller to talent service and then service impl talent mapper talent mapper impl and response utility so whatever the flow is there you will be able to see visually very quickly and it will help you to save a lot of time going through the classes and all and then grasping this if you want to present somewhere if you want to present this to someone who is very new to your team this will help you to make them understand very quickly and you can even even generate a lot of uh, complex one but currently this is the very simple one i am showing okay so this plugin has given some settings as well so you can go to the uh, here settings and you can uh, basically play with this so what is this like uh, if you skip the private method the private methods will not be appearing here all the public methods will be appearing generally in the in the application there will be a lot of public uh, private methods called which will make the sequence diagram little uh, complex but it's your choice how you want to generate it if you want to keep it just remove this and if you want to show the constructor set and getters display the project name only classes so all of this you can play it but very important point here is the call depth what is the call depth so let's say you have one class and inside that class how many depth you want to go so basically you can just increase and decrease it so for me this is the talent controller is having very small one so i am able to show you all very quickly 
okay but if i can also show you the interview controller which is having lot of complexities so for understanding that it is very easy to generate the sequence diagram and so and see the result very quickly and visually okay so so now uh, the question is like if i want to save this diagram how many ways we can do so here we you have a option like you can export as a image and then you can even export as a uml as well right so there is a these two features i liked a lot and then there is a save as button also so you can directly save save this one okay all right so now i will just go to the interview controller it is having basically like how the interview is scheduled so all these steps are written so this is going to be little complex so now i am showing the complex like gen sequence diagram for this one right so if you see this is having one endpoint and then interview service interview service impl mapper candidate service candidate service impl candidate repository user repository so this is very big right so if you if you want to go code by code it's very uh, difficult to understand all all of these like how many classes are used how many interfaces are used okay what interface are used at what level like gmail integration is here it is able to send the calendar invite it is able to send the attachments so a lot of code is here but it's very easy if you can use this tool so that it will save you a lot of time and effort all right so as i have pro promised you so this is going to help you to save your time and uh, understand quickly the codes visually so that's all for the today's video uh, and with this i just wanted to say one thing don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest tech and tutorials tips and tricks let's make coding more fun and efficient thank you very much for watching this video